Greetings from the 49th House District, Demon Valley. I'm Rep. Bud Cook. I appreciate the opportunity to represent you and serve our district. Today, I would like to take a few minutes to discuss our current problem that we, all of us, are experiencing here in Harrisburg. We are attempting to close a $3.2 billion shortfall from the governor's budget presenting to us in February. This is because we have a spending problem, not an income problem in our Commonwealth. You and I have to live within our means and so should our governments. As I toured our district meeting and listening to you, my bosses, you told me loud and clear, no new taxes. You said we are not an endless supply of money for the government. In order to pay for the shortfall and balance this year's budget, the opportunity presented itself to generate income through the legalization of VGTs, video gaming terminals. This was the best option to fix our deficit since we are not raising any taxes. On the House's end, we passed a balanced budget in April and sent it over to the Senate awaiting their input and proposed changes. Last week, a group funded by the greedy Las Vegas Sands Corporation, which operates a casino in Bethlehem, PA, located in the eastern part of the state near Philadelphia. The greedy Sands and others funded a campaign to scare our constituents, senior citizens in particular, into believing that the legalization of VGTs would bring them harm. The campaign consisted of misleading mailers and ads criticizing my vote for VGTs when they were really trying to protect their monopoly. The estimated 40,000 illegal terminals, as reported by the state police, being operated in the state would also be affected. Instead of issuing citations, let's take advantage of the missed revenue opportunities and reduce the strain on our law enforcement agencies. This both saves money and raises money. The greedy casinos have attempted to scare our seniors into action to make me change or influence my vote, but this is a good thing for our commonwealth to raise money. To the big and greedy casinos, I work for my bosses in the 49th district. They've given me my marching orders, and oh by the way, they are much smarter than your pitiful attempt to scare them with misleading mailers and ads. Stay tuned, my next video will explain how we will protect the lottery that funds our seniors and how our clubs and local businesses can benefit from BGTs.